We are installing a 4 inch inline fan on our X tool enclosure next. And that's how we do it. I have an X-Tool D1 Pro with an extended bed. I have it in an X-Tool extended enclosure, but the fan that is included is just too weak to get the fumes out. So I decided to upgrade the exhaust system. I bought this AC Infinity Cloudline Pro 4-inch inline duct fan for $100. I also needed a 4-inch to a 2.5-inch reducer, which we will attach to the inlet side of the fan. This will attach to our X-Tool enclosure ducting. On the outlet side of the fan, I will need to install some 4-inch aluminum ducting. We can now put the fan into place which for me is on the floor below the table I have my laser on. I'm using a zip tie here to attach the ducting from the X-Tool enclosure to my reducer. I of course will upgrade this with the appropriate clamp. I just didn't have one on me at the time of making this video. As for the outlet side of the fan, I had some pieces of oak flooring. I cut two pieces down to size to allow them to join together using their tongue and groove and to fit them into my window track. I have found that the flooring works great for easy setup and takedown, and the sealed side of the wood protects it from any weather that may occur while in use. On one of these pieces, I took a 4 inch inlet flange and marked out the interior. I took my drill press and a 90 millimeter Forstner bit to cut a hole through the piece. I then used the flange and pre-drilled some holes for my screws. I then screwed the flange into place. We can see that the flange extends past the oak flooring. So I will use my belt sander to sand down the ends of the flange to make the flange smooth against the top and the bottom of the oak flooring so it will fit in my window and my window will close over the setup. I then attach the outlet 4 inch ducting to the flange and set it up in my window. As you can see, it is not a perfect seal, and I could put a piece of weather stripping in there to make it better if I were leaving it here permanently, but I remove mine when it is not in use, so I'm okay with a small gap. Now I have nice airflow that gets the fumes out of my enclosure. This works for quick and easy setup and takedown. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. Until next time, this is John on That's How We Do It.